What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with more Pokemon Ultra Sun! Today we're going to be doing a couple things that we needed to do for daily events, and then we're going to be going to Mount Hokulani to compete in the next trial. Compete in the next trial, complete the next trial. Alright, so... Yeah, if uh, anyone is wondering why I refer to Twitch-related things, if you're watching this on YouTube as a VOD later, it's because I'm streaming it first, uploading it later, you know the drill. I would hope so by this point in the series. But anyway, let's talk to this Vulpix. Oh, you're here! It's great to have your help! It started eating the food we prepared. I think it's beginning to trust me too, thanks to you. Now, if only you could play outside without getting intimidated by those Team Skull Bullies. What should we do? Is somebody drilling right now? Hopefully you guys can't hear that because it's fairly quiet. Even from where I am. Hopefully it's not interfering in anything. Uh, what should we do? I'll protect it. Oh, good idea! I bet Vulpix would be much more comfortable with you around. Let's go! Vulpix seemed like it was having so much fun. It's why Fur got all muddy. Aw, oh, come on, we couldn't have a, a playing with Vulpix montage? Come on, man. Hey, Vulpix, did you have fun? Looks like you had fun. They can play outside now, too. If this way, it won't be much longer, Vulpix. We had a lot of fun today, so we should rest. There's more fun to be had tomorrow. Alright. Come back tomorrow and hopefully... We'll, uh... Get closer to the end game of this whole... Rehabilitating the Vulpix thing. Alright, so we gotta go back to Mally City, because we gotta go to the Cantonian Gym. See what, uh... Mr. Super Flashy Dressed Man wanted. Because I was gonna see what he wanted yesterday, but apparently I can't, I can't challenge a gym twice in one day. So no, that's Mally Park. That's the other lane. There we go. Nope, that's the clothing store. That's the haircut place. Aha! Here we go. Hey, let me in. Sure. Got some soda pop, all right. Hello, weird man. My name's Ryuki. I want you might call a star. I mean, with partners like my Pokemon, how could I not be a star? I came all the way across the sea here to Alola to challenge the Pokemon Gym. But this Cantonian Gym here, this isn't a real Pokemon gym. Gee, you think? Still, I dig it here. It's got a feel to it, man. It's got spirit. Hey, trainer. I can feel your spirit, too. Want to have a battle with Ryuki? Sure. Allow me to introduce my bandmates. Come on, babies! Alright, bring it on, sir. Ooh, Terminator, okay. You know this guy kind of reminds me of? Um, like, I'm not saying I'm a huge, like, a follower of the Beyblade anime, but uh, sometimes when I would watch, like, Cartoon Network in the morning when I was waiting for, like, Ben 10 reruns to come on, at, like, 5 a.m. or some shit, before that they would run, like, uh, like some of the Beyblade anime, and uh, there's this guy named Ryuga that sort of looked like this guy, but... I guess, I think I'm mostly thinking of the hair and the fact that he has the dragon aesthetic. I don't know. It's reminiscent, I guess. Ooh, iron defense, alright. Do a quick force palm here. I'd like to get the para. Nope. Why would I get the para? That'd be too easy. That would be too easy. Ah, oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to fucking, um... Forgot to evolve, uh, Yuri Geller. Oh, we got the paralysis. That's good. Okay. Somebody remind me to do that at some point. To evolve my Kadabra into Alkazam. Got the Parahax. Very nice. Should be able to just brick break this to death now. Acha! There we go. 
cool. And Ermac grows to level 33. He wants to learn beat up. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Nah. Well, I mean, to be fair. Yeah, but that might be dependent on, um, how many Pokemon are actually alive at the time, and it seems like something I might not be able to use to, to its full effect every time. Plus, it goes through the accuracy check, and I feel like it might be better if I have Faint Attack for now. Um, anyway, we should probably pick who we're going with here. Uh, Dusk Wolf, handle it. Here we go, this Gabite. Also, I just realized that this might not be a good matchup for me, considering that this Gabite might know some ground moves. So, uh, I may have made a bit of a boo-boo. We avoided that Sand Tomb, though. That's great. Do we at least set up a Stealth Rock? We can, for the next Mon. We are avoiding these Sand Tombs, goddamn. I am all about it. Like, I know Rock Tomb is not going to do a whole lot, even with the Attack Boost. But the speed drop is nice, and plus, I don't want to take rough skin damage. Because I feel like it's going to... Ooh, boy. Right, that was a crit, though. I feel like you're going to have rough skin, so I don't want to make direct contact with you if I don't have to. Come on, Duskwolf. Get a nice crit. It's not a nice crit, damn it. Of course, we're just going to use Sand Tomb again. Makes some kind of jerk. Mm. Ooh, boy. That is cutting it real close. Okay, let's go ahead and use a soda pop. Drink that name brand, Self Cola. Where are you in the game? I haven't been watching streams to avoid spoilers. I just got to Akala. Um, I haven't. I haven't been on Ula Ula Island very long. Um, I just basically completed the stuff in Mali City. I need a stronger medicine than that. I'm just before getting to Mount Hukalani, so, um, a little ways into the third island. Damn, just use a Hyper Potion, you dork. Also, Snivator, welcome to the stream. Stop using Sand Tomb. It's not nice. I just need to be able to live long enough to where I can be at a decent amount of health. Use another Rock Tomb, kill this Gabite. See what this third mon is. It's gonna take stealth rock damage on the way in. I'm still plus one everything. It's fine. E Honda grows level 33. Nice. I come in with Drampa. Alright, cool. Interesting. I still only have my starter lull. My second mon is only a Paniola Ranch. I plan my team. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you. You got machinations going on in the old brain there, Snivator. I dig it. Ah, crap, it just activated Berserk, though, because I didn't kill it. And it's using Dragon Breath, which isn't very powerful, but it is going to be boosted now. Ooh, didn't get the para. Good. Good, good, good. Luckily, I'm not missing, uh, luckily, I'm not missing any of these Rock Tombs. Otherwise, that could have gone so much worse. Duskwolf grows to level uh, 34. Very nice. Let's learn Rock Slide? Mm. I don't know about the accuracy on that, though. Yeah, that's only 90 accuracy. Oh, it's only like 5 less than Octum, though. Like 15 more base power. You know what? We'll risk it. It's only 5 less accuracy. It's 15 more base power. And really, this is all just a holdover until I get um, a Cell Rock. Oh, by the way, uh, Yuri Geller grows to level 33. Wants to learn Telekinesis. I don't remember what Telekinesis does. Um, Makes target float. Nah. No, thanks. There you go, got almost seven grand for being Ryuki. Alright, my babies were all fired up to play a set, but you chilled them out nicely. 
That's right, a dragon scale! I've poured my spirit into it, too! Alright, cool. Got me a dragon scale. Hey, you're curious about what kind of an item the dragon scale is, aren't you? Well, you'll have to figure that out for yourself. Well, you're no help at all, are ya? Once a little gets a real Pokemon gym, I give you my word, I'll become the dragon type leader! Yeah, I'm sure you will. Alright, as long as I'm here, I may as well run through these, uh, Cantonian gym trainers again, just for experience's sake. Um. But yeah, somebody remind me that I need to, at some point in between streams, I need to fucking evolve Yuri Geller with a trade and trade back, just so I have an Alkazam. And also, um, I thought there was something else I needed reminding of, but I guess that was it. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll put Shroud out front. We'll disguise him as E Honda. And he'll be fine. Yeah, it shouldn't be that hard unless these uh, trainers have different or stronger Pokemon than yesterday. Alright, this is the same. It's probably going to be the same, so. I should be able to handle this quite nicely. Alright, see you, Snivator. Thanks for coming out for a bit. Yeah, it's gonna be good to get just a little bit more experience from these trainers before they do the next trial. And plus money, you know. I do like money. I am I am all about this money. Getting this money, achieving this money, spending this money on things I like. I'm just I'm just all about the money. Catch us night slash. Shia. There we go, nice. Took around, battle you. Right, this and one more uh, gym trainer, and then there's the uh, the leader at the end, and then we'll actually go to Mount Hukulani. Progress the story. This might not be quite so easy because, uh, just remember, Shroud has, uh, has absolutely no fucking coverage moves, everything is dark. It's pure dark. Still did a hell of a lot of damage, though. I mean, that was a crit. But still. Yikes, that bug buzz. Bane attack should do it. There we go. Yeah, Cutie Fly and, um... It's Evolve Form are such, uh... Real glass cannons, you know what I mean? Rabombi, that's the Pokemon I'm thinking of. Uh, let me heal up real quick, like. Should we use some of my supers? I'll just use a potion to finish it up. There we go. I'm definitely gonna switch out my lead mon before I get to the Cantonian gym leader. Because, uh,. As I recall, he has a much choke, and that's not going to be good for Shroud. So, we're going to put Yuri Geller out front. This Fomantis should go down pretty easily, I would think. Especially to a Night Slash. There we go. Fantastic. And Shroud grows to level 34. Very nice. Let's learn Torment? Nah. And when are you gonna learn Night Days or fucking Dark Pulse or something? That's what I really wanna know. Anywho, let's switch out Yuri Geller to the front. There we go. 
Time to beat the Cantonian Gym Leader, again! Wait, what the fuck is this place? Uh, it is the Cantonian Gym in Mali City. Apparently somebody established a Kanto-style gym with, quote-unquote, authentic Kanto-style battles and, quote, authentic Kanto-style Pokémon. Even though some of the Pokémon the gym trainers use are totally not from Kanto, but shut up. Um, <laughs> basically it's kind of a throwback to, um, old gyms, but in, like, a really, really simplistic way. There's not actually a gym puzzle or anything. In fact, I don't even know there's anything in the trash cans, even though it's designed after Lieutenant Surge's gym. I really should have taken the time to check the trash cans. Because now I'm not going to be able to come back in until tomorrow. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and, um, if it's going to be anything like the original Sun, it'll probably be an Electric-type trial. So I think Wan Chi Tong is going to be the play as far as what Pokemon to have for this trial. Wait, was there an alley here? Hang on. Oh, I thought there was like a secret alley. Nope. Stop attacking me from the trees. Oh, a Pinko. Okay, that's different. Yeah, let's see if I can catch it. Why not? Give it a whirl here. Give it a spear shackle. Ah, crap. I'm going to feed it into its bide. Ooh, that's a bit of damage. Okay, I better catch this before the bide releases. Oh, wait, what am I worried about? Like, what am I actually worried about? Fucking, uh, it wouldn't affect me because that's a normal type move and I'm a ghost type. What am I even worried about right now? I just using that ball. It should work out pretty well. Yeah! Pineco was caught. Neat. Yeah, let's add that data. Pineco, the bagworm Pokemon. Motionless, it hangs from trees, waiting for its bug Pokemon, er, yeah, waiting for its bug Pokemon prey to come to it. Its favorite Alola. Its favorite in Alola is Cutie Fly. Fascinating. I'm gonna call you not a. No, it's not gonna fit. Not a pine cone. And, uh, just for kicks, let's check your summary. Oh, you have Sturdy as your ability, that's pretty good, but you're, you're Jolly Nature. That's not a very good ability for a Pineco, especially if I were to evolve you into Ferretris, because... Like, what is a fast Ferretris ever gonna do? Seriously, what would even be the point of that? Oh, wait, berries. Oh, never mind. Apparently, I gotta fight a Pokemon first. Alright, Crib Brawler, get out of my way. I need these berries. I need them more than you, alright? Vamoose. Get out of here. There we go. And Wachi Tong grows to level 36. Very nice. Get these berries. 
Oh, we got a key berry. A koala berry. A kelpsy berry. And a hondu berry. Cool. Yeah, heal my Pokemon, please. Thank you. Ah, crap. I got too, uh, got too close to the tree. I was trying to avoid it, but I forgot where the tree was. Another pine kill? Yeah, I can just kill this with a pluck real quick. Do, 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 do. Especially because I'm 10 levels higher than you. This should be no problem. Oh, really? Ah, oh, don't call for help. Come on. Damn it. Oh, this is going to be a whole thing, isn't it? We're going to pluck the left one. Yeah, just keep doing normal type moves. That's fine by me. Just keep doing normal type moves that I have no effect from. I mean, apparently, natural gift failed, so. At this range, I feel like fucking Razor Leaf kills you. Again, you're both around 10 levels lower than me. Even though this is resisted, it should be fine. Yeah, get out of here. I even got a crit on one of them. As if I needed it. Oh, what? Oh, it dropped an item. Okay. The chest so berry, cool. Hey, Professor Kukui, take me up the mountain. Yeah, let's catch the bus. The Executor Express. Up the mountain we go. Even though I'm probably just going to end up walking down the mountain for a while and battling trainers and see if I can catch a, a mini orb, because I believe there was somebody who wanted one. Mount Hukulani is the second tallest mountain in Alola. And the tallest... Is that one over there? Check it out, Daniel. You see that steep, jutting, majestic peak right over there? That's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. Neat. It's a sacred spot, yeah? The closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola, said to be the Sun Incarnate. That's right, right there, on the peak of Lanakila. That's where I'll establish your Pokemon League. We'll get everybody who's finished their island challenges, yeah? And up there on the peak of Mount Lanakila, they'll battle against the Kahunas to become the Island Challenge Champion. I've always valued our traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize. It's time to get our own Elite Four, and make our own Pokemon League! With Blackjack, and Hookers, it, sorry, no, I'm burning it. <laughs> to think that someday the kiddos in Alola, <clears throat> the kiddos in Alola will be able to go from being the Island Challenge Champion to the World Champion. And then, when we have our own champion, they can show the rest of the world what's so special about Alolan Pokemon and their trainers, yeah! Great. I'm just going to have a walk around here, though. Oh, hello, Mr. Oak. Also, there's a real time thing on the bottom of the screen. Oh, hello, hello, Alola! You know, this is Pokemon called Minio. It comes down from space like a shooting star, and the cores of these Minio seem to shine in a number of different colors. They don't seem to be regional variants, but it's an interesting phenomenon nonetheless. Yeah, I've got something for you. Oh, neat, a moon ball. Yep, complete the Pokedex, blah blah blah. I'd love the challenge. Yeah, I know, we're at the Hokulani Observatory, but you have wrote a lot of things to do. Give me cool stuff. I'm um, guessing that's gonna be either affection or friendliness related? Yep, two Roto friendships. Okay, cool. Neat. Item there. 
Oop, totem sticker. Nope, don't want to talk to you yet, guy. Um, okay, there's no way to get around there. Uh, that's Kukui. There's probably something right here, just like hidden in the grass, or in the dirt, I should say. So let's get on Stoutlin. I'm assuming, anyway. Nope, nothing really? Oh well. Alright, so I gotta beat all the trans or mouth hook and line to battle that guy who's really full of himself. I was watching the parabolic antenna and I found a trainer! Yeah, kind of because I came right up to you, to be fair. You didn't really find anything. Office worker Jessica. With a Clefairy. Ooh, alright. Let's do this. Yeah, now the regular trainers are going to be in the 30s, so, uh... Good thing I have Pokemon in the lower and mid-30s. Ooh, nice crit. I want to say that didn't matter because it was just a Clefairy, but eh. I'll take it anyway. Ermac was level 34. Very nice. I'm assuming there's going to be Minior in that patch of grass. Well, let's get this first. Bolt Switch. Alright, cool. Can anyone learn it, though? Or is, this, or is this just gonna continue the streak of fucking TMs that nobody in my party can learn? Nope. Not a single fucking... Uh, like, the only person that can... Or the only... The only person, yeah. The only Pokemon that can learn any of the recent TMs I've gotten is, uh... Fucking Yuri Geller being able to learn Thunder Wave. I'm not sure that I want to teach it that. Okay, let's see. Should probably go and try and catch a Minior now. That one professor. If I can remember where he actually is. Oh, well, look at that. A fucking Minior right away. Nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna quick ball it immediately. Hopefully that will work. There we go. Quick ball. A cha. Nice! And Minior was caught! I wonder what kind of core it is. I honestly have no idea because I couldn't see it because the. Ooh, it's a green core, okay. Neat. Minior, the Meteor Pokemon! Green core. Places where Minior fall from the night sky are few and far between, with Alola being one of the precious few. Neat. We call you... Space Jam. Look at your summary, just for... just for funsies. You got neutral nature. You got shields down, obviously. Stealth Rock, Take Down, Ancient Power, and Self Destruct! Great! So it's a good thing that Quick Ball worked, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to fucking catch it. Oh, actually, you know what? I would have been immune to Self Destruct anyway, so I would have. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you like that in Hey Mars Shadow? It's a good one, right? And right, where are these other trainers? Oh, that's an item. A fastball. Catches really quick Pokemon that... I think it's... I think it's supposed to be Pokemon that are quick to escape, like... Um, you know, like, roaming Pokemon. I'll tell you what, Hiker. Battling is not going to be your favorite after I get done with you. 
You're gonna be demoralized, my friend. Hiker Thomas. We got Geodude of the Alolan variety. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh resistant to your electric stab, and then your rock stab will just be neutral. Thankfully you're still weak to Razor Leaf. Even it's only times two instead of times four now, but I'll take it. Oh wow, that wasn't even sturdy. You just you just straight up lived that. How dare you? Do I take a spirit shackle? I don't know what good that stealth rock was gonna do, man. It's like your Geodude's gonna take out my Decidueye. And Duskwolf grows to level 35. Nice. Hiker hates to lose? Well, I hate to lose more. So I tend to avoid it when I can. Ooh, there's a guy way the hell down there. What the fuck? That's a totem sticker, though. I know that much. It's a hell of a place to practice your golf swing, bro. How the shit am I supposed to fight that guy? Ooh, a heavy ball. Cool. Oh, well, alright. There's your answer. Hey now, it's dangerous to stand in front of a golfer trainer. Well, don't you think it's fucking dangerous to be standing and practicing your golf swing on top of a mountain on, like, such a very small slab of fucking land? Like, how'd you get there anyway? You don't even seem like you're equipped to be climbing mountains, bro. I'm just saying. You seem ill-equipped for this. Alright, let's see. Let's get an Ominous Wind. Just so we can see if we can get the Cheeky Boost. Of course not. That would be too easy. But you're going to roll out. That's fine. At this point, I feel like a Razor Leaf would kill you, hopefully. It's going to be a good neutral stab hit. Nope. Crap, it's going to activate shields down, though, so you're going to be stronger and faster now. The rollout's already building up damage. Which is just even worse. I'm so you miss. Ooh, that's some damage. That is some damage. Get out of here, Minior. And Yuri Geller grows to level 34. Very nice. Ooh, you got another Minior. Okay. Um. Da, da, da. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with Ermac. Go with something I know would be super effective. And there's shields down. And here's schooling. We are many. You are but one. Takedown? Fine. That's fine. You'll just hurt yourself a bit. We go for this dive. Really wish I had a waterfall, though. Be a lot better. I'm just saying. There we go. Hey, Wachi Tongra is level 37. Excellent. Alright, one more Minior. This one's pink. Neat. Oh, double edge, you say? Alright, calm down. Nope, no double edge for you. And goodbye. And nice, Ermac grows level 35. Excellent. And E Honda grows level 34. Um, no, nah, I, I could do that, Seismic Toss. Gotta go 3Gs from that, though. That's good. Let's see if I can heal up here, because I feel like... I, I Even aside from that guy I have to battle later, I feel like that's not the last guy. It could be, though, but it's probably not. And hell, I didn't even know he was there, so... Like they've been hiding the golfers in a lot of weird spots. Like, did you did you notice that? Some golfers in some weird spots around here. There was that there was that guy just now, and then um 
the golfer that was originally just in the motel parking lot, an original son of, um, yeah, I want to say it was Route 8 by Lush Jungle. This is him around the corner of the motel. Like, I, I have a feeling they're just purposely hiding the golfers in weird spots. It's just kind of going to be a running thing for them. I know there's a golfer in, um, like, again, I'm going off original son here. But I know there's supposed to be a golfer in, um, one of the Oracorio meadows. I think it's the one... Ooh, self-destruct, alright. Calm down. That ain't gonna affect me. Okay, yeah, so I wouldn't be able to catch that minior anyway. Because it was self-destructed, it just wouldn't have affected me. Uh, Shroud was level 35. That's nice. Yeah, what I was trying to say is that there's that one golfer in the one Oracorio meadow. I'm wondering if he's gonna be in a weird spot, too. But anyway... I guess I will be able to uh, obtain info on rare Pokemon by battling you. You know how else I can do that? The internet. Are you saying you're the internet? Because I doubt you are. Ooh, Passimian, alright. I want to say pure fighting? I know it's fighting in something. Or maybe just fighting, I don't even know. I swear it's fighting in something. Barely certain it's fighting, so I'm gonna pluck you. Oh, is it pure? Alright. Scary face, how dare you? Alright, so he's got two mods, one of which is past Simi. I'm assuming the other one, then, is gonna be, uh, Oranguru. Jeez, gonna be minus four speed. Definitely gonna have to switch out to this, then. There we go. Uh, let's see. Yep, Oranguru called it. So, I will go with... Uh, Shroud. My dark type. Because why not? Gonna come out disguised as E. Honda. Ooh, this is perfect. You're gonna think you have a type advantage over me, but... It will be the other way around, sir. And there we go. Nice. Excellent. Almost two grand for that one. Cool, cool. Amulet coin really doing in the uh, doing in the work. Really doing the work and get me this money. Oh, just all my fucking ride Pokemon are too big to get by here. Is there even anything over here? Yeah. Ooh, a max potion. Nice. Always good to find free drugs. What am I battling? A ditto. That'd be cool if I hadn't already caught one. Yeah, the only time I'm going to catch a ditto now, I think, is if it has an imposter. Even then, I probably won't. I don't need two dittos for any real reason. All right, come on now. Oh, an LGM. All right, let's try and catch you. Let's try and catch the little green man. I'm 10 levels higher. I'm probably going to kill this thing. Just use a quick ball, Daniel. Just use a quick ball. That's what they're there for. If it doesn't work out, switch to something that will be able to weaken it. There we go. LGM was caught. Let's add that data. LGM, the cerebral Pokemon. It controls tremendous psychic power. Most, uh, most reports of alien sightings are actually just people mistaking LGM for an alien. Are you sure? Are you sure, though? We're gonna call you... Marvin. 
And then we're going to go ahead and uh, look at your summary. What do you got? Ow. You have telepathy as an ability, but like you're... Yeah, you have naughty nature. That is actually not great at all. Like the exact wrong stat is being raised, and then your special defense is lowered. Well, at least you'll have friends in the Pokepelago. Let's see here. Nope. I'm just battling trainers. Let's go back along the main road here, make sure I didn't miss anybody. That's the hiker. That's that patch of grass again. Yeah, I feel like I got everybody here, so... Hey, dude, fight me. Ooh, he's gonna be using Z-Power against me. Fun. Alright, veteran Akira. Alright, here we go with this Persian starting out. Probably not a good idea to have Wan Chitong out here because I will be weak to its Dark type moves. And also, it's pretty physically bulky. So. Gosh, I'm just realizing how fucking physically oriented this team is. Like, look at this. Um, Shroud should be a special attacker, but I don't have any special attacks on it yet for some reason. Because I don't know when it learns Dark Pulse or Night Days or anything like that. Um. You're physical, you're special, you're physical, you're supposed to be physical, even though I have a mix on you, and you're physical. So, um, let's go for E Honda, because at least E Honda can not only get that first turn flinch for some uh, chip damage, but also I'll have a type advantage over the Persian, so that'll be good. Here we go. First turn fake out. Bop. Nice. And then we'll go with a force palm. It'll be all good. Probably waiting for his other Pokemon to use Z power. Well, I guess I'm gonna see it pretty soon because there goes the Persian. And Wachi Tonkra's level 38. Let's learn Sucker Punch. All right. Let's see. Um. Da -da -da. Yeah, I think, we can, I think we can get rid of Pluck. For Sucker Punch. And Dusk Wolf, of course, is level 36. Very cool. Ooh, Absol could be the Z user. What kind of Z move we would use, though? Hopefully I won't have to find out, because as I know from being an, uh, a lover of all things Absol, you are incredibly, uh, incredibly fragile. Ooh, that slash! That wasn't even a crit, though. Alright, good. Yeah, by the way, where's the Z move, pal? Where was your Z move? Yuri Geller grows to level 35. Very nice. Good 5 plus K from that. You, you've got some good Pokemon, kid. Thanks for showing my brothers a good time. Here's your thanks. Ooh, got TM35 Snarl, alright. Isn't that a special move? You know, Z-Power is more or less the power of the pledge you've made to your Pokémon, and my relationship with my Pokémon is closer than that of a parent or a brother or anything. Good for you. Let me check this TM, though. I'm gonna run to the Pokémon Center and heal real quick after this. Actually, I should sort these. Yeah, there we go. Lowers the special attack stab of opposing Pokemon. Okay. Finally get a fucking special dark type move on Shroud. I think I'll get rid of Fey Attack because Night Slash is 100% accurate and it's more powerful if I'm gonna keep a physical move uh I'm gonna keep a physical move on it for now. So it'll be fine. Alright, let's head to the Pokemon Center. Talk to some folks in here, heal up, and then we'll go to the observatory.
cool. Weird. Um, all right, what do you sell? Drugs, all right. Not the kind of drugs I need. Let's see here. Um, I don't want to spend too much money. Uh, I feel like considering this should be the electric type trial, if I, if this is gonna be similar to last time, that I should probably go ahead and buy more paralyzed heals, so. You know, just for the sake of relevancy. But I believe that's going to be it. I think I have everything else I need. So, let's go. Hey there. You're still as fired up as ever, eh, Royal? Ha! Daniel, let me introduce you. This is Molaine. He runs the observatory here and also manages PC boxes. At least not Hukulani's captain. But I was the captain once, my masked friend. It's Daniel, right? Thanks for coming all the way up to Hukulani to visit us. Our captain, Sophocles, is a rather busy young man, I'm afraid. Always calculating comets' paths or updating that festival plaza thing of his. Really? Did he update it to work? Because I would like that. If you want to be introduced to the masked royal, though, well, that's something I could definitely help you with right here and now. Yeah, I think he's even stronger than, uh, than we were at this point in our island challenge. One more thing, cousin. The name's Kukui. Who's this masked royal you're talking about? Dude, you're not fooling anybody. You're not fooling anyone, man. Just think about that favor I asked you, yeah, Molaine? I want you to seriously consider it. I guess I should, uh, I should head back to Mallet Garden. Even how should be done eating Malasadas by now, yeah? I'll make sure he makes it up here, too. Ooh, a favor, you say? That guy's as interesting as ever, my old buddy. Here's a little something to remember our meeting by, Daniel. Oh, thank you for just giving me Steelium Z. Behold! Cutting sharpness, unyielding power. Yes, this move has them both. And that's why you need to know how to draw forth the power of z the, the, the And it is what you need to know to draw forth the Steel Type Z power. Blah. Hey, Daniel, you're playing on like getting a Switch shoe and you're still going to wait for it. Uh, I would already have a Switch if I could afford it, but uh, nah. <laughs> I gathered these Z crystals when I was on my own island challenge back in the day. Adventuring with Kukui and my Pokemon in search of strength. You should go ahead and use it now. Now go on inside and tour our observatory as you like. And if you're ready for the real trial, Captain Sophocles can be found in the head's office. That I will do. Oh, hello, Charger Bugs. Nukulani Observatory can view distant planets and galaxies, with the help of Pokemon like Togedemaru and Charger Bug, of course. I guess it's time to feed you guys. Yeah, you do that. Oh, totem sticker, hello. Yeah, celestial bodies, all that good stuff, but uh totem sticker. Ooh, I'm one away from the next totem Pokemon. Oh, a comet chart? Cool. Oh, they're actually asking me, fuck. What is the magnitude of a star that's ten times brighter than a fifth magnitude star? Fuck, I don't know. Whoa, who are you? Sorry, sorry, I thought you were my fellow scientist. Sorry that I asked you such a difficult question. Take this as my apology. Okay, thank you for the stardust. I'm kind of wondering what would have happened if I had just guessed the answer correctly. 
That probably still would have given me the Stardust. Ooh, Totem Sticker. That was 50? Oh, okay. Oh, well, hello there. It's me, Samson Oak. I see you've collected some totem stickers. You should come, uh, uh come stop by Hair Hair Beach. Sure. Maybe after this. Anything else in here? Doors locked by security. All right. Oh, hey, Sophocles. You're getting close to your goal. I imagine you must have come here to attempt the trial, huh? Oh, there's a totem sticker. So, uh, where are the charger bug? I guess it's their dinner time? Oh, they're eating, right. The charger bug are real gluttons, you know. The charger bug helped me out with my trial, so can you go get them all for me? I'll have to get everything else ready while you do that. I'm gonna have to get Toker Tomorrow's help, too. This will be my first time testing it. So, so, it would be a huge help if you would go call all the Charger Bug for me! Okay, but, uh, Totem Sticker, though. I believe if you come here with a Deoxys, in the original Sun, and I'm assuming this would be the same thing, um, that that would allow you to change the Deoxys form that you have. Let's see, uh... Hey, Token Amaru! Where's all the Charger Bug? Where the heck? No, like, actually, where the heck, though? Is it behind the security door, maybe? No? Is it in one of the... Like, like I'm trying to figure out where Melane could have taken the charger bug in order to feed them. I'm guessing outside? There we go. There you are! The charger bug are all fed and happy! Are we missing one? Oh, they're not all here yet. Oh, boy. Alright, missing three. Yep, alright. In the empty lot by the bus station. Here we go, another Pokemon-related fetch quest. Uh, hello? Like, get back over there, you little scamp. And one more. Or not? Okay, where could it have gone, though? Oh, there it is. I see it. It's by the bus. Mulane! Mulane, you idiot! It's by the bus! Never mind, I'll get it. Yo! The fuck are you going, boy? Oh, Seven Jabug, there you are! Thanks for the help in finding it, Daniel! Now we should get back to Sophocles. No doubt he's been craning his neck like an executor waiting for us. Sure, why not? You gather those charge about quickly! I knew there was something special about you. So, over there, that's the room where we have, uh, where we have the trial. Oh, that's what you do with that, okay. I guess it does kind of look like the trial gate, stylistically. Hey, Tokyo Tomorrow. 
All right. Let's do it. The heck kind of trial is this going to be? Token Tomorrow and Charge Bot get along very well. We use Token Tomorrow's ability, Lightning Rod, to absorb any sudden charges from Charger Bugs so we don't get zapped. Oh, and by the way, we gave Token Tomorrow a nickname, Tokimaru. Again, like all these in game NPC Pokemon just have like Pokemon Stadium level nicknames. So, do you want to begin my trial? I've been waiting for it. Wow, you're really into this. Okay, let me explain how my trial works. I've already forgotten the voice I did. First, you need to connect a charger bug that are on the roller. We'll use the electricity from the charger bug to power up the machine that should let us call the totem Pokemon. Use the four buttons on the edges of the roller to rotate the panels and connect the charger bug in a line. Just as an example, this is what happens when you rotate the panels. Okay. You won't need to worry about which way the Charger Bug are facing, so long as they're connected in a line. Let me summarize. We connect the Charger Bug to, su uh, to summon the Totem Pokémon, which you will hopefully defeat. Also, as a side note, this is the first time you're using the two machines, the Roller and the Pinger. So let's get this trial going, okay? My trial is about to begin! Alright, let's do it. That was easy enough. So we have to do it for the other side now. Or not. Yeah, I'm assuming you have to do it for both sides. Because there was like two things over there. Or was it just like for two, two possible ways you could have solved it? I don't know. It's actually working! The Pinker is getting a good dose of power! Now, the Totem Pokemon should be here any minute! Except not, because I have to battle an Elected? Oh boy. Let's see. I'm gonna hit you with this Razor Leaf real quick. Hit him with a Thunder Punch! Oh fuck, he got parried! How the hell dare you? Don't leer me. Come on. Really? Parahax? Right away? Really doing this already? There, catch this Razor Leaf. Get out of my life. Ah, oh, of course. I like it. Love electricity. So it must have been tempted out by the pinger. We didn't call the Pokemon we wanted, but... Whoops. Yeah. We didn't call the Pokemon we wanted, but it seems like the Pinger works just fine. So what now, Sophie? Hmm. I think one row of Charger Bug isn't giving... Yeah, alright. I knew it. Yeah, we need to do it for two. We need a second row. If my theory is correct, this should let us pump up more power into the Pinger. So my trial will continue. Oh, wait, one more on that one. There we go. Oh, except it's not on the right thing, fuck. It's gotta be on the stupid thing, doesn't it? I feel like it should be. I have no idea. Because that's connected, but it's obviously not connected in the right spot. There we go. Yeah, that'd be... That'd be fucking, um... Adjacent to the actual connector. There we go. That's what I was doing wrong. 
You're a bit overleveled, don't you think? Yeah, maybe for random wild Pokemon, but some of the trainers have had Pokemon in their 30s. So, it's not by that much. It's actually working! The Pinger is getting a good dose of power! Good dose of power, even. Yes, we're getting much more power than on our last try! Ooh, an Electabuzz, alright. Neat. I'm still paralyzed, though. That's not great. Um... Let's go ahead and use one of the many paralyzed heals I bought. Light screen, that's fine. I'm coming at you physically. This game is actually pretty difficult, even if you're over leveled. Yeah, I figured. Marsh out for life. A fucking Thunder Wave, come on. There we go, fuck. Because I'm paralyzed again. Ermac grew to level 36, though, that's good. He's not going to be much help in this trial, but it's at least good that he's leveling up. Hmm, I like the buzz. Seems the more power we pump into the pinger, the pinger even, the bigger Pokemon it attracts. This is amazing, Sophie. If that's the case, let's give it some more power. That'll definitely summon the totem Pokemon. The more charge bug we connect in a direct line, the greater the electrical current that is generated, and the longer it flows. So that means... Oh god, we gotta do one more, don't we? I've got it, Daniel! Actually, I think you've got it already, too! So my trial will continue to continue! Oh god, now they're diagonal. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Gotta make a Z. Ah, uh, get it, cause Z power. Yeah, yeah Z crystals. Uh, I see, I getcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right, Paralyze Heal and Potion. Great. So that one's there. Uh, nope. Wait, one more should do it. Nope, I fucked it up. There we go, now I just have to rotate this one individually until it's in the middle. There it is. Okay, Daniel, the Charger Bug are all connected. Everything should be good now. Now we're ready to connect the roller with the pinger. Here we go. Oh boy. That's a lot of power. Uh, the cables are looking a little unstable. I hope it doesn't cause a problem. I think it's causing a problem. Oh no, the charger bug will get blasted with electricity if we don't do something. Uh, what? <laughs> Toki Damaru, what are you doing? Are you trying to save everyone? Oh god, it's gonna be a totem Toki Damaru, isn't it? It's totally gonna do it. Toki Damaru's ability is Lightning Rod. It can attract electricity to itself, but the current is too strong. There's no way Toki Damaru's electric sacks can handle all of it. Toki Damaru, hang in there! I I gotta do something. Oh, okay, it's just a completely different token Amaru. That totally can handle all the electricity. Cause it's way more swole. Jeez, man. That is a big boy. Alright, time for the next Totem Pokemon, which is apparently a Totem Togedemaru! Uh, let's go, I guess. And it gets plus two defense. Excellent. That's yeah, that, that's just what I need in my life. I'm I'm very happy about it. I'm I'm so happy about it, guys, can you tell? 
Oh, this also this thing just looks fucking mean. Ooh, spiky shield off the back. Good thing I went for a special attack. I was gonna call for help though. Smaller token Amaru. No, a Skarmory. Okay. Well, this is not good. Like, I want to see if I can get the stat boost, but also I want to just break any possible sturdy it might have. Although, I guess this one might have Lightning Rod, too. But, ah, Tailwind, gonna double both of your speed. I don't like it. Wait, what am I doing? It's bouncing. I need to, I need to get something else out here. Um... Fuck's sake, I don't know. I don't know, though. Like, obviously, Duskwolf would be good to resist the bounce, but then, like... Skarmory's a steel type, and just get, uh, just fuck it up with a steel wing or something. Uh, uh, and then Ermac could be weak to its electric stab. Shit! I'm gonna just have to... I'm just gonna have to bank on the fact that fucking... Bounces and stab, and hope it's gonna be fine. I didn't do half. Great, so I can't use two moves uh, uh, consecutively in a row because of Torment now. Can I get the stab buff? I got a crit though, that's good. I didn't get the stab buff though. Would have liked the stab buff if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, so I can't do that. Uh, Spirit Shock of the Skarmory. Yeah, because I called that Spiky Shield. There we go. So, don't attack the token tomorrow. Yep, Steel Wing. Alright. Yeah, so, um... Dusk Wolf would not have been the switch. There we go. Get rid of that Skarmory. E-Honda grows level 35. That's cool. Alright, so, no new allies yet. That's good. I need to take a second to heal. Let me get... Good ol' Hyper Potion on a Wanchi Tongue. Then we can uh, figure out what we're doing here. If you're gonna use Bounce again, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, bring in Dusk Wolf. I'm assuming you can't call it an ally Pokemon when you're in the air. And your Tailwind's gone too, so that's good. Alright, Dusk Wolf, handle it. Alright, good. Didn't do a damn thing, still not calling any allies, that's good. Gonna get the Z happy hour off, because I need the stat buffs. I'm probably gonna stealth rock up in case it calls any more allies. Oh, Iron Head! No thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna call the Spiky Shield, so let's go ahead and get the Stuff Rock up. No, it didn't use Spiky Shield. It's still just attacking. I would assume. Fuck. I did not call that right. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, fuck it. E-Honda, get out here. Now it's probably use Spiky Shield, so I think I would have time to revive Dusk Wolf. So we can get his proper... Um experience for all this. Well, so much for that. Yep, spiky shield. It's probably gonna use it now though, I imagine. So we're gonna we're gonna bait out a spiky shield with a fake out that I know will fail. Nope, that didn't work at all. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be faster than me even without that tailwind, so I think I'm safe to go for a knockoff here. Alright, it's not stab, it's not stab, it's not stab. Well, it still did a lot, and it paralyzed me. Great. Fantastic. Ooh, you had a citrus berry. Good thing I knocked that off. I don't appreciate you paralyzing me, though. It's very not nice. Crap, using bounce again. I, I know it's not going to kill me unless it crits, so I should be good. You go for a brick break here. Even though you're plus two defense. Ooh! Oh, and you paralyzed me again? Come on, man! And I got full parried! 
piss off! Okay, clearly I need to fucking heal my HP before anything else. Where's that hyper? Here's that hyper. Gonna give me almost the full health. I'm gonna have to risk it. Oh, really? With the full para again? Come on, man. This give you a soda pop. The storm is so fucking annoying. Yeah, I've noticed. Hey, Star Yoshi 68. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Oh, it's brick break it. I'm assuming you're gonna go for bounce. Nope, spiky shield. Fuck. I actually, a good thing I was full power because I didn't take the spiky shield damage then. Alright, I'm um, thinking it's gonna be another bounce, so I think I have a turn to pop off a cherry berry here. Ooh, zing zap, alright. Calm down. With your dual type damage. Fucking spiky shield! Great. Alright, that has to be all your spiky shields. Like, how many PP does that have? I feel like that has five. I'm not sure, though. I feel like that has five. So I feel like you're out of them now. I'm hoping you are. Ooh, just barely living that. Take this Brick Break, which is gonna do almost nothing. Oh god, now it's calling for allies again, and it's probably gonna do that more now that it's weaker. It's a Dene. Or at least I got those Stealth Rocks up earlier with um, Dusk Wolf, so that's good. What's not good is now I'm in a handicap match again. I go for Zing Zap. I don't appreciate that. Go for Charm. Would you stop? It's the first thing you've done, and I already want you to stop it. Alright, um, I'm assuming you're gonna go for Spiky Shield. I don't know what the Dedene is gonna do. Let me get Yuri Geller out here. Yep, Spiky Shield. How many PP does Spiky Shield actually have? Because I feel like you've used way more than five. I don't actually know off the top of my head how much PP that has. Um... Let's go for Dedene with the Psychic. Um, almost. Super Fang, alright, calm down. That damage cutting bullshit, or that um, health cutting bullshit. Um, saying Spiky Shield again for Token tomorrow? Nope. I'm gonna get rid of the Dedene at least. So that's good. And Shroud grows to level 36. Very nice. Ooh, you're going for Zing Zap. That's not great. Ow. I don't call an ally. Alright, um... Hopefully you're not gonna call an ally. I don't think I'm gonna be fast enough to fucking... get a Fire Fang off. I'm gonna have to go with Wanchi Tong. Just to resist the fucking, um... Electric Stab. Right, here we go. Sucker Punch. Nope. Spiky Shield. That shouldn't hurt me because I'm not actually... yeah. If you're not actually attacking, Sucker Punch doesn't even go off, so it shouldn't even matter. Ah, oh, they didn't do anything, man. They didn't do Jack Squat. Let's go for Razor Leaf. Spiky Shield again. I don't think this makes contact, so I shouldn't get hurt by this. Yep. Alright, good. Ooh. Alright, good. No flinchies. No flinchies. That did not do a goddamn thing. 
There's a spiky shield again, so Sucker Punch is gonna fail, but it's not gonna hurt me. So, uh, let's go for Spirit Shackle, because that won't be resisted. As long as I don't flinch. Okay, good. Come on. Come on, Spirit Shackle, do the thing. Really? <sighs> Come on, man. Alright, here we go. One more Sucker Punch should do it, though. I feel like this is in the bag. Good! Thank you. Jeez, man. Wanchi Tong grows to level 39. Good. And unfortunately, Yuri Geller's not going to get the experience for that because they didn't revive it, but... At this point, I was just trying to win. I was just trying to win. Yeah, that's something I've noticed. Even with the experience share on, the Pokemon have been catching up to my levels after t after uh, not too long, Star Yoshi. Thanks, Daniel. You're welcome. Tokenomaru and company, or Togemaru, I keep forgetting their, their Pokemon Stadium level nicknames. They were saved by the Totem Pokemon. The Totem Pokemon is really something else. And that means you're one heck of a trainer to have beaten that totem, Daniel. I'm curious, though. What was that aura the totem Pokemon surround themselves with? I really need to work on the totem calling machines, though. Togemaru and Wunjabug and company, they're all my precious friends. It's Spiky Shield has 10 PP. Okay, thank you, Star Yoshi. I knew it couldn't have been that much. You've got that right, Sophie. Finding things that you notice, even little things, and improving on them. That's how science works. Come to think of it, that's how Pokemon battles work, too. You did it first try, I'm so salty. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, uh, just, just bathe in the salt, Marshada for life. Bathe in it. Right, here we go. Got the Electrium Z. That's the first trial of Ula Ula Island done. Nice. Come on, Safi. You still need to show him the proper Z pose to use it. Watch. Neat. Congratulations on clearing your trial. And Sophocles did well as captain, too. I was really nervous. Don't you worry. I'm sure that I made the right choice in naming you captain. Even if you are my cousin. Usually it's the Island Kahuna who appoints the captains, but there are some, uh, unusual circumstances here on Ula Ula. So somehow I ended up captain. Whoops, or somehow I ended up captain. It was Sophocles, whatever. <laughs> but you are really great, Daniel. Maybe you should invite him to check out the ballet agency in that case. Big Mo, you're a genius. That's a marvelous idea. Daniel, come with me to, uh, God damn it. Fucking Festival Plaza. Oh, but this is a place where you can, like, rent Pokemon to do battles, though, right? Do you have trouble with the Grass Trial? Um, kinda, but still, I haven't, like, I haven't actually lost a Totem Battle yet. So. The Grass Trial was kind of annoying just because of, you know, Totem Lorantis constantly synthing up. But, I eventually did it. Okay, that's what this desk was. Welcome to the Battle Agency Reception Desk. Not to brag, but this facility is pretty sweet. First, go ahead and borrow a Pokemon at the Reception Desk. You can choose one of three Pokemon. Once you've borrowed a Pokemon, next is asking trainers to join your team. Look for trainers who have strong Pokemon. Battle alongside your teammates and get rewards. Okay. If you keep winning, your grade will go up. If your grade goes up, you can battle with stronger Pokémon. Battle a lot and raise your grade. That's how it works. Go ahead and give it a try. At some point, maybe I will. How is that, Daniel? The Battle Agency. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Well, if you're done here, Daniel, could I ask you to do a favor for me? My pal Kukui seems to have forgotten this. Oh, the professor's mask. Alright, sure. He said he'd be going back to Mally Garden, didn't he? 
Sorry to ask, but take it to him, would you? Maybe next time we could battle, too. Sure. But for now, I am right the fuck out of here. Gonna heal up, and then I'm probably just gonna fly back to Mally Garden. That's not the way out. This is the way out. Oops. Go ahead and heal up real fast. I believe we're more than halfway through the trials now because uh, they said there were eight of them. But I believe I've done five because I've done the normal type trial on Melee Melee. I did the three on Akala. And then, yeah, there's this one, Ula Ula. So I'm more than halfway done with the trials. Nice. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and fly back to Mali so we can do the thing.